Ooh, a key change in video game music. That never happens. Hi everybody, I'm Krep, and I'm still playing Super Mario Bros. X thing, and we're still in World 6. And this next level, Tank Assault by Freelop, is dangerous. It's on a donut block above lava, that's awful. Whoa. Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, I didn't say anything for a second, even though there's plenty to react to right now, because my cat just hopped up on my screen and was walking in front of my monitor, and uh, I just jumped over a lot of stuff. Uh, this level's really interesting. It's like a... It's like a slow-speed, high-speed, alternating auto-scroller, and that's such a clever concept for anything, honestly. Uh, yeah, stuff's happening. There's Metal Slug music. It's Furbuzz. There's a Toad to talk, talk to. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks for telling us, Toad. Oh, that worked out somehow. Oh, that didn't work out, though. I should not have slid. <laughs> it was a bad idea from, from start to front. Ah, I see. I'm gonna have to figure out how to deal with that opening obstacle. That's, um... That's quite the thing. Maybe I'll just hang out more at the front for a second? No, okay, so wherever... Okay, yeah, the timing depends on when it comes on screen. Which makes sense. That that makes sense to my game design brain. Which is an entirely separate brain that exists in my head. Uh, unrelated to the brain I normally have, as most people do. Uh, there's a coin there. There's uh, death there. Pow. Boom. Pow. <laughs> I liked that. I liked that interaction. <laughs> oh, video games are so... You're so fun all the time. What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh yeah, that's the, right, this is why I died on was spikes, because it's all yellow with all these coins in here, and uh, it's easy to have no idea what the heck's going on. Uh, and by that I mean it's really, really easy to lose myself visually when I'm surrounded by yellow things I want to be touching and yellow things I don't want to be touching. I'm very color activated, as it turns out. There's an axe up there. Okay, I'm using turbo. I don't, I don't like pulling out turbo for things, but you know what, the, it, it was a good time for it. Uh, the case was called. Yes, ASMBXT, that's the game I'm playing. Yes, coins above a pipe, that's the game I'm playing. Oh, there's, there's more. Oh, now there's just regular old Super Mario World music. How tame. Though there is a weird through line between the, um, the like low marimba ostinato in this song and the whatever ostinato that was in the the metal slug song for most of the time uh you know i could try to jump on on a birdo egg or i could do something really stupid Like, here's the thing. I'm playing this game for my own entertainment and recording it for hopefully yours, and I will make decisions that cost me a ton of time, but are still for my own entertainment. All right, shoot off your your eggy. Dang. I don't know why I keep going for this coin. I don't actually need nor want it. I guess just because it's there. It's like a little little fun challenge. Oops. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, let me at him. All right. Was that so hard? I guess it was, because it took me four tries to do, and that's a measure of difficulty. Also, here's how you get out of here. Nope, 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 that's wrong, actually. What am I thinking? It's not how you get out of here. I thought I knew, and I realized that thought was wrong, and I had the thought, wait, I do know. 
It's very simple. There we go. <laughs> There's just a warp underneath the donut block. Anyway. Oh, what fun times we have here. What is next? Everyday Life of a Ladder by Vertilon. Alright, also one leak. Just getting some simple linear levels today. Oh, jeez. Uh, I see what's going on here. We're having a little shmup section. Methinks I might want to jump on the ladder for added vertical speeds. Added vertical speeds of ascension. Okay. Uh, it didn't work out so well there, but that's fine. Let's really be aware of the right side of the screen. Okay, so we gotta... Oh man, I'm I'm trying to pay attention to the bullet bills coming in, the, uh, so much so I'm not paying attention to the coins coming in, which are... I, I think I, I'm realizing in post we're we're very clearly providing some hints of where I should be. Uh, that uh, that first one. It's really hard for me to um actually accurately tell where I am on the left side of the screen. Yeah, it's that big old stairs stairway of coins telling me where to go. This is a very telegraphed level, and I'm picking up on very little of it as it turns out. Uh, so like about no, not about there. Ah. Uh, Okay, okay. That works. That works, except it didn't work out so well. Oh, I thought it was going to be over already. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. You know what? Yeah, I should have seen that coming, knowing this engine. Oh, what? See, I can't even, I can't even pay attention to where I actually am on the left side. It's really hard for some reason. Okay, get up this time. Don't be on the ground. Ground is a uh, very sky place dangerous. Okay, that that opening bit's getting easier every time. Uh, I don't know what I'm expected to do here if I'm not small. Uh, platforming, threading a needle, ducking. What do you want from me, video game? Everything's scary. Also, there's a leak down here. Oh, but it's not the leak, that's the leak. Once more, we have Fantasy Star Online music. The only constant that we know in this world is that there will always be more Fantasy Star Online music in these levels. That was an interesting, fun little challenge. I forgot for a second there was an invisible block there, and then just walked into the wall, and was like, whoa, whoa, as if I'd completely forgotten the thing I just demonstrated three, two, three minutes ago. Oh boy, it's Dodge the Beefsteak by Luca Ramu. Also, one leak level. Uh, the whole dodge the beefsteak thing is... Ah, uh, here we go, there's the beefsteak! Ha ha ha, is a reference to a thing. I mean, okay, at this point, pretty sure most of the people watching this Let's Play of, are coming from the talk house, so you probably all know what this is. But I'm going to talk about it anyway, because I need things to talk about in my very informative Let's Play of a Super Mario Bros. X thing. Uh, there was a time when, like, Raukau played Super Mario World ROM hacks. That time's over, obviously. He doesn't do that anymore. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, and I'm paying no attention to it. And there was a time when, like, you know, some of those ROM hacks were made by, like, people whose primary language and location geographically was Japanese and Japan, respectively. And uh, Raukau doesn't either of those things, so he needed to know what those level names were saying and what those text boxes were saying, but in English, please. And so we got people uh, sideways to Raukau translating these things for his benefit and for the benefit of people watching his Let's Plays. And one person, we won't, we won't name names here, you know, sure as heck, just translate a bunch of level names halfway <laughs> and somehow resulted in a very, a very normal level name getting turned into Dodge the Beefsteak, and you know that that's history. The rest of that is that's history. Uh, you learn history from me in your high school, college classes, which I teach, um, and that's because no one else really has a high school college education degree. Uh, it's a really obscure degree, and I don't actually. 
Uh, my best friend has that degree, but that's only because we went through the same classes together. Uh, we were actually the only two students left by the end of our final final term for our final class. What am I supposed to do here? I'm probably supposed to jump on the beefsteak, huh? So, uh, yeah, that's why I have a, a degree in high school college education. High school college teaching. You know, I'm a, I'm a high, I'm just a, a high school college teacher. You know, nothing, nothing special, nothing fancy. It's not like it's a, it's not like a, being a doctor. You know, it's I'm not out here saying lives, but you know, I'm giving people the the education they need. Naked Blue Brother, that's me. There was a cactus here all along. I thought I was gonna make it. I thought I thought that I was gonna make it. That's what you're supposed to do is just have a little bit of patience and expect the level to give you something instead of hoping it will toss something after you jump. I don't know what's happening down there, and I again I'm not going to acknowledge it. A midpoint. A midpoint for me is a midpoint for you uh, as a viewer. Excellent. I was really hoping I would get more fireballs this episode. I've been really lacking. I've been really small this episode. It's been fairly unnerving. I feel like there's something to the left here because there was a beefsteak that came from that way. There's this goop that's flying about, not doing anything to anyone. No, there's nothing up here. Okay, that's fine. It just seemed like, you know, just a, a time for, for things to be placed, uh, and I was wrong. Clearly. You know, I guess just that beef steak came from over there because we need to have more beef steaks in this level. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have to fill a quota, something like that. All right, toss that, toss that one at me again, so I can make this jump or don't. I, 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 I oh, I see where that's coming from now, so I can just jump on it from over here. Oh, if only things were always this simple. Most of the time, they're not. Ooh, a leaf. Don't mind if I do. I really don't mind. Uh, I would love it if I could. Oh, I was so close. I was so close to falling off the edge there and dying after the leak. And you know what? Maybe that would have been alright, you know? You know what? I want to I go for one more. I want to see what World 6 has to offer. Stormy Ascent by Kashkabald. Another one leak level, you know. I think I think we got a good we got a good streak going on here, and like stormy ascent. I liked misery down a lot. Maybe this will be kind of similar. We got blocks and we got coins and we got lots of rain, which is probably gonna tank the bit rate of this video. But you know, we'll we'll see. I'm certainly not about to like go re-record this. Is this more Crash Bandicoot music? So, I've never actually played any of the Crash Bandicoot games. That's actually not entirely true, because I played a little bit of uh, Insane Trilogy after one of my friends got it. Uh, but I'd like to play a little more, because I never... I, I had a PlayStation 1, but you know what? My PlayStation 1 was inherited from my older sister, and so my PlayStation 1 experience was also inherited from my older sister, and she really liked RPGs and not a whole lot else. Uh, and I really liked... Um, brands I was already familiar with and RPGs. <laughs> so, like, a lot of the games that I picked up for the PS1 after inheriting are like Final Fantasy 7 9 or 7 8 9 and Final Fantasy Tactics and Star Ocean The Second Story and Lunar and Lunar 2 Eternal Blue were like. The Mega Man X games, and Marvel vs. Capcom, and Mega Man 8, and... You know, that was kind of it. So I never played any Crash Bandicoot, and that was a really largely roundabout, rambly way of saying I've never played any Crash... Ra uh, Crash... Uh, Bandit Brute. Um, and... The thing, though, is that I've heard some Crash Bandicoot music. And I kind of know what it sounds like. And the thing about Crash Bandicoot music, at least from the platformers, is that it, it's not samey. 
but it has a very, very clear style to it. It's very unique and different from a lot of other game soundtracks. And also, I kind of don't care for it much. Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, this let's play is canceled. Uh, gosh, I, I really, I really messed up, huh? I'm, I'm, I can't apologize enough, you know. Uh, gosh. All right. So this level's happening, and uh, I'm, I'm happening an exceptionally minimal amount to this level right now, and I should spin jump a lot more because there's so many ghosts. <laughs> Uh, there's so many ghosts. Please don't fireball me while I'm down here on this ghost. Please don't let that fireball reach me. It sure... sure did. <laughs> really? <laughs> God. <laughs> Could I, like, play a little better, please? <laughs> ah, sometimes the rain covers the single pixel of Iris's pupil. And it makes it look sort of like she's blinking. Oh my god, I made it to the piranha plant. Oh my god, there's more platforming. I can't believe it, this level is still going with platforming. Why did I totally botch that jump? Oh, there's that fireball still there. Oh, that ghost is still there. Oh, I'm still here. That in itself is a blessing. Ah! Uh, I managed to make probably the worst the worst move I could have made in that moment and still lived. <laughs> uh platformers. Platformers are a gift from from heaven. Ooh. Can I get like oh I was hoping to get like another power up, maybe get a tiered power up, like a leaf or a cactus. Please fall down, thank you. Get that goop a jump. Get that goop. Uh, whoa, I didn't even see these platforms. With the bullet bill cannon on it. This level is <laughs> making me a fear person. I am drenched in fear and water. There's a lot of water here too. G get out of here, get out of here. Don't even touch me. Have I even seen a midpoint? I can't remember. I'm just like, throughout all of this, by Cat Llama, sorry, by Catnip, uh, I made a split second decision there because these platforms are not lined up nicely for me and I just want them to be nice lined up. What is happening here in the center? Ooh, can't stand there for long. Okay, okay. Yeah, this level is scaring me. It's just very pure platforming challenges, and oh god, I don't have a hit to soak up a banana with. Stop being so erratic. Okay. Made it through that somehow. And yes, I do get a cactus. This level is a little longer than I expected. Compared to its family here in World 6. I'm going to wait for this shaman to come up again, and I'm going to jump on it again, and I'm going to run duck jump. I really just want a second cactus. It wasn't worth it, but I did really just want a second cactus. Wow, it really was not worth it. Uh, I can't get that, huh? That's probably why this, this area is designed that way. Oh, that's so rude. At least there's a beat right here. I like beats. And you know what? At this point, even if I get hit trying to do this jump to get this cactus, it would be worth it. Yeah, that's what happens. It's fine, though, because now I'm fiery. Oh, I lost it already. Because I didn't actually press the jump button. Go figure. Ah, oh, dang. Is there power up here? Because... Ah, oh, there isn't. If I could just get down... If I could just get to another power-up block without losing absolutely everything I have, then maybe I could stand to keep some... some ability. No such thing. No such luck today. We got a lack 2 dropping Furbas.
Like, I, I noticed the lack of two, but I didn't really, like, take in the fact that there was a lack of two following me. Might have to see what I can do about that. Oh, I'm not getting that. Oh, I'm not getting that platform either. Yes! Perfect. Couldn't have gone any better. Wow. That takes a lot of stress off my back, which is normally where stress is stored. Actually, that's not even a wildly inaccurate statement for many people. Okay. This platforming just got a heck of a lot less threatening without Furbas being dropped on me. Yeah, like, look at this. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. God! Okay, yeah, I should have seen that coming. But at least... At least I fireballed a banana snake today. I deserve an achievement for that. This game doesn't have achievements. This game isn't triple A enough to have achievements. It's also weirdly not indie enough to have achievements. You know what? I'm, I'm saying weird nonsense stuff to be silly. The, the real statement is it's not published enough to have, to have achievements. Coins on the stairs. Another banana snake. You're so rude to me. More, more Koopa jumping. Oh, these ones are stationary too. As in, I mean, they don't they don't get bumped out of their shells when you jump when you jump on them. Why are you giving me a power up at the end? You just want me to be in a nice position for the next level? Thanks, I guess. Oh, I stopped the rain. I stopped the rain. I can just do that now. Oh, that's so cool. I guess I'm like a weather god now.